What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video here on the channel. So, in this one we're basically just going to be doing the same thing we've been doing for the last couple of videos. And that is, of course, continuing on with the ally quest line. Uh, more specifically, Sophia's. My base is getting attacked, but I'm not really worried about it right now. Uh, but, if you're excited for this video, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and kick some ass. Alright. I think they're all dead. Before I got to actually do anything about it. But, it is what it is. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and see where exactly we have to go. Uh, we gotta go pretty far. I did buy uh, a couple things. Uh, I believe I bought a weapon. I can't remember what I bought. It was like four grand or something. Uh, I think it was slightly overpriced, but it was definitely right up my alley. So it was definitely something that I felt like I needed to buy. So I'll show it to you when we come back to the camp here shortly. Most of these uh, ally quests anyways are just fetch and retrieve type missions anyways, so... I mean, we'll be back to the camp pretty much immediately. What is that? Oh, my god. It's Birdie Bird Alley. Also... Hiya! Hey! Let me get out of the way before it blows up on me. Oh, I see you too. No, be nice to me, damn it. Oh, he's about to blow up. You? Can... Oh, he's a legendary. Here, let me get out of the way. Aw, oh, crap. He still got me anyways. Here, let me... Let me just pick this up anyways. I'm gonna have to kill all these guys regardless, so... Let me just run around and destroy... Where'd he go? You, come here. Don't you freaking punch... Punch me, asshole. There you go. Is that everybody? It is. All right, let me see what weapon I got. Um, Vampire's Pipe Bolt Action, and it's a level 20? Uh, no, thank you. Hiya! Oh, God, there's a bit of gutsy somewhere. Holy shit, this guy hits. That sounds devastating. Algorithm update? Oh, that's what we're looking for, right? Oh, God, now I'm overweight. Luckily, I think I have some buff out. I do. All right, so let's take some buff out and make it to where we go back. Because right now we're pretty screwed, aren't we? So first things first, though. Before the buff out actually goes away, let's go upstairs, scrap some stuff. And then... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Scrap some stuff, put it away. And then we'll call it a day with this mission. Of course, while we're at it, while we're up there, I'm definitely going to show you the weapon. Clean up this, fix that. We literally completed this part of the quest in like two seconds. All right. Uh, I, hit the jackpot I guess that's it. Too. So let's go ahead and put this in here. While we're at it, let me see. What was it? It was the, uh, it wasn't that one. Hold on, uh, there's still a few weapons that I need to scrap. Oh, it was this one right here. It's, right now it's, uh, set up as a single shot. I definitely need to get a bunch of, uh, of handmade so that I can scrap them so that I can get the mods because right now I'm not liking the single shot aspect of this. Plus I kind of want to put a suppressor on this. The drum magazine is cool for now. Uh, yeah, I want a, a suppressor. The the dot sight, I definitely want. It did have the, um, like, a long night vision scope, which is cool for, like, a sniper rifle, uh, in a sense. But this weapon, in my opinion, is not good at all for a sniper rifle. So, uh, yeah, there's that. The reason why I think it's overpriced is not because of its legendary effects. Uh... It's mainly because of the mods, man. I have to basically find a lot of freaking handmaids just so that I can modify this to the extent that I want. This is pretty bad in my opinion. But, yeah. I'm, I'm actually really excited I got that, though. Alright, well, let's go talk to uh, Commander Sophia. 
I'm not even gonna try or attempt to say her name. Where's she at? There you are. Hello. Look who's back. Back I'm again. Figured I would stop by and give you this emergence kit. It should help with your headaches for a little while. You don't know how relieved I am to hear that. The headaches have been uh, excruciating at times. I could barely think. Glad to help. So, uh, last time we spoke, you both were tracking down the crew's signal. What did you find? Scavenging. Nothing. Its own reward. Uh. Sometimes a wet and dirty one. Nah, there were no survivors. It was a long shot anyway. It's good that you checked at least. But we already had one miracle when Sophia survived. More would be pushing it. There was almost nothing in the wreckage. They had no chance. I just... Why weren't they in the main emergency capsule with me? They would have been safe in there. Maybe that's true. It's all in the past, though. Focus on things you can actually change. For example, those robots. Have you found any more? Nope. Uh, well, I mean, we did find that Mr. Gutsy with the override program from it. Ah, see? I told you. Probably a rogue programmer. <laughs> Some sort of hippie that wanted to cause chaos. The robot's signature was a partial match for some other signals in the area, so I thought we might investigate those. It seems linked. Seems like a waste of time to me. That's hard work, man. You have your answers. Nowak, Lee, Bernard. They're all dead. Long dead. You're not. <laughs> Excuse me. Move on. Live your life. Build onto this Appalachian uh, home with your good Samaritan friend here. Lie low. If the um. The don't get you, the rads will. Do you know by any chance where the USSA hollow tapes could be stored? Not really. But uh, well, you're no help. Back trace the program signal that you picked up. Sophia can figure it out from there. Thanks for the emergence kit, Emerson. Come back later, okay? I'm tracking down some more of them with my contacts, so I'll be back later. Now that people have come Stay back to this area, trouble, they'll please? all want to be setting up places like Foundation. All right, so now <laughs> we gotta <laughs> talk to her. Strike it big, baby! What the hell are you talking about, guy? Go away! Why does everybody like to hang around my freaking house? Go away! <laughs> I'm glad to have another emergence kit, but I'm annoyed that Emerson doesn't think anything is worth investigating. You know? Speaking of which, when you approached that robot, I detected a frequency disruption. Maybe it was sending a signal, but to whom? I'm not sure, to be honest. Maybe we should probably find out. The signal is tagged with a code that indicates it is a high security holotape related to the deep sleep mission that's so that's a good thing right um can i listen to this high security holotape i mean who would care now right listen to it if you want i can't guarantee it'll be interesting i'm not sure what it is exactly but if you are a communist or a sympathizer, then it might trigger some sort of explosion or brainwave obstruction thing. Oh, God. I can't remember. So they stupid. They just used to tell us that to scare us, I think. I never I think. tested it out, though. I mean, it's pretty obvious it's not real. But anyways, um, how are your headaches lately, anyways? <sighs> Emerson's emergence kit helped a bit, but the headaches are very... Persistent. I can almost keep time with the spikes of pain. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll go look for this high security uh, hollow tape of yours. It's got to be something significant. This could give me some closure here. Finally. Then I can move on, like Emerson suggested. I'm glad your ship crashed. I'm not glad your ship crashed, but I'm glad you're here, Commander. Or Sophia, the first. Call me Sophia, please. That's what I already do, After baby. After what we've been through. <laughs> After all, I'm in your ship now. That makes you the commander here. This is a castle. That makes me the king. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, were you able to determine anything from the USSA robot? Sort of. Right before you killed it, the robot sent out some signals to specific targets. I think it pinged my console, too. It was hard to tell if anything changed, though. My headache was back in full force, so I had to lie down. I could barely see. I expect that another USSA robot will be activated and sent after us soon, so maybe we can try again. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, what did you do up in space anyways? Experiments or something, or some, perhaps something else? Truthfully, it was a blur. We were sent up as a team, and we were in our deep sleep pods in under an hour after achieving a stable orbit. But that single hour? <laughs> It was exhilarating. I bet. But, alright, I'll be back later then. Roger. Stay safe out there. Alright, so what do we get? We should probably go upstairs just to be ready. Ah, it's too wet to be outside. Um. Well, I mean, I guess we could definitely get rid of all of that. That can go away. That's it? Oh, that's because a lot of it is ammo that I need to get rid of. Junk is a collectron. Like Paradise. missiles and... Hold on, where is that? Mini nukes, for one. Didn't I get missiles? Or am I tripping? Oh, 40 millimeter grenades. That's what it was. Damn, I had a lot too. Alright, good, it's gone. Hey! I didn't want that bag on. Oh well. Who cares? That's what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, search the USSA uh, signal. That is all the way the hell over there in Watoga. So let's go ahead. Oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me. It's hard work. Why am I encumbered? Here. Um, hmm. Here, let's drop How that. Drop three grenades. Why am I over encumbered though? Here, let's cook some food real quick. I like this thing. Now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like Foundation. Let's cook everything and then we're actually gonna eat a little bit. It's probably that's probably why to be honest, because of all the food. What's going uh, on? Is something happening? Oh, my base is getting attacked again. Uh let's take this food. Wait, I didn't need to eat that much. What am I doing? Alright, now I need some water. I'm pretty sure the water is the reason why Collect and store. I weigh so freaking much. Stealth Boy Mark 3? Alright, I don't remember getting that, but I'll take it. Here, I don't want those either. Let me drop all of the uh, alcoholic beverages. Um, I think that's it. Oh, they said waking from deep sleep could be disorienting, but I mean, it's not. This is unreal. It's not the way I or, wanted it, but it's okay though. So Let's go ahead and just complete this for now, and then, yeah. Luckily for us, though, uh, well, I really need to figure out why the hell I weigh so damn much. Because once I move all of my perk cards over, it's really going to get bad. Because <clears throat> a lot of the perks are getting... Uh, I'm going to have very low strength. I'm probably going to have like one strength by the end of this build. Because I'm trying to switch my perk cards over to, um, to a, like a commando laser build. But the problem with that is... I'm pretty high strength right now, and I'm struggling with weight right now, so I need to really, you know, loosen, uh, like, open up my inventory a little bit more, because right now I'm struggling, and I have high strength. Once I get low strength, it's going to be damn near impossible. I'm going to have to pretty much reset everything. Um, all right, we need to go upstairs. I'm pretty sure this place is infested by Scorch, so I need to be careful. Or maybe even Feral Ghouls, one of those two. Yeah, I can hear footsteps, so. Hiya! 
I... No, be nice to me. Be nice to me. I kind of want to see what's in here, though. I wanted it quiet just for a quick second so I can listen. There's a dead guy. Ooh. Ooh. I need to find a bench, though, so I can scrap that. Pretty sure I could just avoid doing this by just going around, but hey, it's okay. Ah! Here. Let me hit him until he... And then, power hit. Now, this is a, this is a pretty good weapon. If anybody wants this weapon once I'm done, uh, dark laser pistol. I'm gonna be over encumbered here very soon. I need a workbench. Yeah, if anybody wants this weapon, I'll probably give it away to one of the viewers. Just let me know that you watch my channel, that you're like one of the subscribers here on my channel that watches my videos, and I'll gladly give it to anybody who wants it once I, of course, uh, finish my build. <clears throat> it's gonna be pretty pretty cool man i can't wait i like laser re uh weapons period in fallout that's why in fallout 3 and fallout new vegas both of them have um laser builds and even in fallout 4 uh my let's play in uh here on the channel they're all basically laser weapon builds i like them a lot all right there we go deep sleep routine what the hell's that? <clears throat> that sounds terrible. Sounds like freaking whales. Protect and serve. That sounds horrible. Pathway's blocked. Athena. <laughs> Oh my god, that sounds annoying. But it's somebody named Athena. <clears throat> Hold on, let me see something real quick. Uh, what have I done? For this ally quest line. Um, ally thicker than water. Isn't that... Isn't that Beckett's? This is Beckett's too. So crash landing. And Eagle flies free? Oh, the woman uh, who fell from Earth. Okay. Very nice. Alright, well, let's go back to uh, Commander Sophia. So that we can find out exactly what is going on here. <clears throat> Maybe she has a little bit of clarity onto what exactly that noise was. Because that sounded pretty creepy. I don't know about you guys, but that sounded pretty freaking creepy. Sophia the first Where is you at? Whoa, what the hell? Hey Sophia, come here, talk I'm talking to you. To Doesn't seem to be anything on this holotape at all. Where are you going? But it's definitely labeled as part of the Deep Sleep project. Yeah, I'm not sure where she went. Um so Let's see if we can dig up anything on the pods themselves. If the Documentation, the ferals, user you, manuals, Dr. Bernard's designs, anything really. Um. Uh. I heard, uh, I heard something other than whale songs on that tape. I believe you. <clears throat> I don't know why exactly, but. I feel like I knew it was more than just relaxing ocean sounds. Uh, is a deep sleeper? What's a deep sleeper pot anyways? Dr. Bernard designed it to help us sleep for long periods of time and space. It clearly worked. <laughs> Maybe too well. 
Well, I mean, all right. I'll look for the link. Uh, uh, for a link into the deep sleep pods. Something just seems unsettling about the whole thing. I'll start to investigate other signals too. I wish that whale song holotape wasn't whatever it is. It would be soothing to listen to that right about now. Yeah. If you don't look close enough. Well, anyways, I'm dying to know more about you, Sophia. You're so intriguing. Okay. Um, I'm from Chicago. Parents moved there when I was little. After college, I went to the D.C. area and applied for the astronaut program a couple of times until I was accepted. Oh, my folks were so proud. Uh, I'm sure. Other than that, I had a few relationships. Nothing serious. Uh, I had a pet turtle for most of my <laughs> life. That was pretty serious. I, I don't know. That's the high-level overview, anyway. Now I'm not a weirdo. If that was what you were asking. Places like Foundation. I never thought you were a weirdo. Uh, but to be honest, I am kind of concerned about your headaches. They're strange. For a while, I felt like they were nonstop. But I think it's actually a, a sharp ping followed by uh, a, a moderate, dull ache. In a way. The cycle of pain is sort of fascinating. I wonder if my brain is thawing. I, I don't think that was how it worked, but I'm not a medical doctor. Dr. Bernard would have known. He built the sleeping pod. Okay. Uh, what did you hear on that tape anyways? Just whale song. Repeating. This place up is hard so work. pleasant. Headache sort of melted away. What? That's weird. Um, do you have any questions for me? Anyways, I'm over here asking you all kinds of questions, trying to get to know you more. Is there anything you want to know about me? Because I'm an open book. <sighs> this world is so peculiar. It's so dangerous. And I'm just amazed at the fact that life continues, you know? So, how did you survive all of this? Interesting question, as a matter of fact. Um, but she is a smart person, so weighing the risk carefully and not taking dumb chances. That's basically it. Uh, I can respect that. Calculate the risks and pass on anything that isn't reasonable. Safe and sound. It just makes sense. Later on, I'll modify my scanner to pick up on caches of armor and other helpful resources. That tools, first aid, etc. Not without risk, but worth it. Uh, that sounds cool. I'll be back in a little bit then. Roger. Stay safe out there. Now that people have come back to this Alright, let's go ahead and... Up places like Foundation. See what we get. Why do we always get heavy combat armor? Alright, so first things first, we definitely need to get rid of this and this. If the scorched or the ferals and don't get you, this. The rads will. Woo! Dude, I'm literally making some progress here. Uh patiently false. Let me see something. Okay. Scavenging is um, its own reward. Retrieve the Some patient design deep sleeper pod. Red. And Where is this at? Work, oh, back at Watoga? Really? AMS. Hold on, real quick. What is what is this called? This woman. Well, the woman who fell to Earth. All right. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and fast travel over here and get going. Should be pretty interesting to say the least. I really like this girl though. She's like, I definitely think romancing her is the way to go in my opinion. Alrighty. 
but of course that mainly has to do because I am a dude a straight guy by the way although in Fallout 4 I'm not gonna lie to you like in Fallout 4 on my main character in Fallout 4 I literally romance just to, like on my main character I mainly I romance everybody just so that I can get the bonus <laughs> oh well it is what it is I'm very comfortable with my sexuality, so. AMS, third quarter. What the hell? Weird. Oh, God. We've got a lot of enemies all over the place. All right. It's okay. Ah, die. Intruder. Wait, wasn't there Intruder. a... Oh, it's, up it's upstairs more. Yourself. Let's just get this deal. <laughs> You! Goodbye. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah! Holy fuck! Oh no. Alright, come on, baby. No, come on! There we go. Holy fuck! Run! <laughs> that is so freaking terrifying. Oh my god, that was scary. That was insane, dude. I guess this guy wants to be locked up. Alright, who shot me? You goodbye. You goodbye. Alright, how are we gonna do this, man? Alright, we gotta go upstairs, but there's a lot of freaking laser turrets up there. Let's get back to full health, man, because I'm gonna need all the health I can. Alright. What is this? Oh, it's Ultrasight. That looks cool. I, I don't... Standing down. I don't remember seeing it like that. What are they shooting at? Oh, fuck. That scared the shit out of me, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. Ah! No! Oh, fuck. Alright, I gotta run for it. Alright, good. That guy's done. Holy shit, dude. I gotta destroy them. No! Oh my god, dude. These things are freaking crazy. These are the moments that I wish I had a gun. Alright. Let's try this again, shall we? Run! Now let's go upstairs again. Wait, I don't even know where I'm going. No, this isn't it. All right, is this way? No. Oh yeah, this is the stairs. Got it. Why did they have? Why did Bethesda have to add those things here? It's, it's rude. Approach and. Identify your Ugh. How are we gonna do this? There's one right here. Alright, good. That guy's dead. Maybe I can actually. That didn't work. Yep. Alright. That was a mistake. Alright, let's try this again. Stairs. I might just say fuck it and YOLO. Because I don't see myself destroying them all. Sensor alert. Anomaly. I can't destroy that thing though. Let's go. And this one. I'm making progress though, I'll say that much. Woo! Alright, there's this one over here that I must destroy. 
So it looks like I just got one left in the corner, but I don't think I could even get that one in the corner. There's an Assaultron somewhere around here too, so I gotta be careful. Hello? Mr. Assaultron! I've come to murder you! Ah, oh, fuck. Run! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Run! Holy fuck! Fuck you, dude. I'm tired of your shit. <laughs> Law abiding. Oh. Please leave the that was terrifying, dude. There we go. No. I can't. I literally can't even run towards him. Because he absolutely destroys me. And then there's another one. Way up there. It's because they got the explosive effect. I have to destroy this one. Come on. Get out of the way. Fuck. I'm so scared. Mom, help me. Alright, let me destroy this little guy first. Would you fucking die? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. False alarm. Standing down. Oh my god, dude. Can I destroy this guy from here? Oh, thank god. Woo! Almost done. Alright, ready? Damn, now I'm suffering from the blight. There's two of them up there. Hey, that's not fair. Oh god. Oh god. I have to run for it. No! Damn, dude, these things are fucking strong. Don't let me be all the way at the bottom. Damn it. I mean, there's a silver lining. I don't really have to worry about them from down here. A lot. Intruder. Identify yourself. They're respawning, aren't they? Because I'm not fast enough. Where the hell are we going? Oh, this way. All right. Now through here. What's over here? All right, let's try it. Maybe it's a shortcut. There we go. Oh God. Leave me alone, damn it. Why are you guys gotta be so freaking rude? And what's the point of being in here? I don't want to read right now, so I will take that freaking stim pack. Um, I would take that pistol, but it really wouldn't do any damage. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. I hope I don't end up regretting this. Wait, is this the way I went? No, this is the freaking toilet. Why is there freaking machine gun turrets in the bathrooms? I have no idea how to get out of here right now. There we go. Alright, it was this way. Wait a minute. Damn it. Can I do something with this? Facilities terminal? What does this do? Nothing. Crap. Oh, all right. Let's try to do this again. All right, so this is the room. Run! Oh, no. I don't think I ended up destroying it either. All right. 
Did it get destroyed? I think it did actually. Run! No! Oh my god, look at my health. That's scary. Where's the other one? Run! <laughs> it worked! We did it! Oh my god, that was so freaking scary. I mean, realistically, I could have just YOLO'd it and not done that, but... It's okay. We got- we figured it out. Uh, patent design deep sleeper pod. Ooh! That was intense. So let's go back to... Commander. Watch me not even have to... Man, if I, if I didn't have to go back to her right now, and I still had to do something over there, I'm gonna be pissed. Not really, but it's gonna be upsetting. So let's hope uh, we do this right. <sighs> let's see here. Okay, yeah, good. Bring it back to her. Clean up this, fix that. <sighs> Why are you dead. still at my house? You around, friend. Where are you? There is a smelly surprise. Where is she? Is she upstairs? Um, Sophia? Oh, she's pulling that again. The ferals don't get you, the rads will. I still want to know how she does this. You Hello. found something related to the deep sleep mission? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, here's my plan. I found some old medical data from the USSA stored nearby, and I want you to look for a copy of my records there. They'll all want to be setting up places like Um. What do you think the sensory data transfers were about? Huh. I think that's a fine question for Emerson, honestly. Uh, how, how often uh, did you have to use the deep sleeper pods? <sighs> Maybe five or six times, I suppose. Every couple months for the two years prior to launch, anyway. Um... Well, don't worry. I'll go. I'll go get them. Something just isn't right here. I'm sort of terrified to see these medical records. I just need to relax for a bit. I got an issue of Tesla Science from a trader who stopped by recently, so uh, I'll probably dive into that. Nice, nice. Sophia, I'm here for you. However, you may need. Oh um, snap! <laughs> right now, I think we need to track down some medical records. Then, maybe we can... Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I I'll keep that in mind, Aww. friend. Um, <clears throat> Aw. So, uh, that deep sleeper pod was clearly part of some experiment, right? <clears throat> that is not how it was presented to us. We're supposed to maintain our ambient health levels, and that's it. Nothing else. The schematics say the pod was designed to help transfer sensory data. To what end? So... Um... Yeah, I mean, it seems like the government pulled a freaking, uh, vault tech on you, but... Hey, we'll get them back, don't worry. Tell me about the, uh, about the schematics that we found earlier. Dr. Bernard was one of the scientists that I worked with in the USSA. He was an engineer, mostly mechanical. I knew he had developed the sleeping pods for this mission, so that wasn't particularly new information for me. But it looks like there's something about the sleeping pod establishing a sensory link between the user and something else. I don't know what that is. And also... Emerson was the supervisor for this project, so he absolutely does know what this was about. Gasp! In detail. 
Who could have ever seen this coming? Uh, you play holotape, game, uh, holotape games, right? I mean, who doesn't, right? Oh, snap. You we got a gamer. Do you? Oh, now that would be a warm blanket on a cold night. Uh, want a copy of Greg, uh, of my Grognak holotape game? Uh, you're looking at the reigning East Coast champion of the <laughs> Ruby Ruins, my friend. And yes, for the record, I would love to play it even more. Uh, transfer it to my console? Yeah, for sure. Uh, have you picked up any other USSA uh, robot signals? Yes, a protectron has been circling the camp. It hasn't approached yet, though, so I'm going to monitor it for data, and then we can go after it. I think it's collecting data about us, so I'm waiting to see who it's sending the data to. Makes sense. Can. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, well, I'll be back in a little bit. Roger. Stay safe out there. My name is not fucking Roger. If you want to be in a relationship with me, you say my name right, Sophia. That's messed up. You're hurting my felines. Uh, let's see what we got. All right, nothing spectacular. What we should probably be doing is putting our freaking ammo away. That's probably why we're getting encumbered pretty easily. Uh, I mean, we're still good. Let's just put uh, the junk away. It's nothing much, but hey, it's better than nothing. Retrieve the records. Where's this at anyways? Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Well, it's not too far, but we're getting pretty close to that one hour mark. So, I think we're going to call it a video right here, right now, guys. In the next one, we're going to be continuing on. I think we're a little bit past halfway. Um, probably a little bit more than halfway, to be honest, uh, with this whole storyline. So, there's that. Uh, I kind of want to take a break from Fallout 76 when I'm done with this quest line. Literally, for one reason and one reason only. Um... I want to focus on leveling my character up so I can transfer all of the all of the perk cards and everything. That way, following this uh, quest line or whatever, I can focus 100% on having, you know, a laser build completed for when the Brotherhood of Steel uh, DLC, if you will, drops here in Fallout 76. That way, I'm not, like, stuck in some awkward middle, you know what I mean? So, there's that. Uh, but as for now, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, do me a huge favor. Drop Nothing a like on this one. Normal. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.